I poisoned him. In two hours, I would be free. I did it with joy. My cheeks were ardent. My lips burned. I felt happy, liberated. Even Guillermo resulted an accomplice in the matter. Since the day our uncle took us to his house, we found ourselves lost in his palace. It was a dry place, a place without love. Only the metallic sound of corn. Uncle would say all this would be ours. But that famous and much wished day was only postponed. Even though Uncle suffered with heart problems, and if he terrorized us when we were little, when we grew up, he became intolerable. Guillermo fell in love one fine day. The girl was frowned upon by my uncle. It wasn't what he ambitioned for his nephew. It was useless for my brother to do anything. The old man was stubborn and irrational. She lacks elegance. She lacks class. Ah, she's ordinary. With me, he had a different kind of problem. It was a personality against the other. He dedicated himself in making me a biochemist. Result? An expert in poker and parties. My uncle gave me not even a single dime for these vices. I had to outsmart him to get money. One of these tricks was tolerating him with his interminable chess matches. I would let him win when I had the advantage to flatter him. But when he was in a favorable position, he made the match longer. Writing down the moves with pleasure, knowing that I was itching to leave for the club. He took pleasure from my misfortune as he savored his cognac. Checkmate. Oh, I see that you're astute at chess. That tells me two things. That you're intelligent and you're good for nothing. However, your dedication will have its own rewards. I am just. Since you lack your diploma, from now on, I will have from you beautiful records of our matches. Yes, boy, we will keep a notebook with the plays to compare them. What do you think? This could result in a couple hundred bucks, and I accepted. Since then, every night, it was statistics. This minion was so rooted in my uncle's mind that even in my absence, he would discuss the matches with Julio, the butler. Now everything was concluding. When one finds oneself in an alley with no way out, the brain looks for a way out. There is always a way out, not always a good way, but a way nonetheless. It's alright. I'll play a solitary one. I've already dispatched of all servants. Huh. I want to be calm tonight. Then I'll read a good book. Something that the youth does not understand. You can go now. Thank you, Uncle. I understand. Thank you. Uncle did force me to study biochemistry. Aconitin from the chemistry cabinet. Several drops. It had a slow effect. An hour, maybe more. Up to six hours. Exactly during his sleep, it would seem a peaceful death. A heart attack. Not a single trace. No one saw me take it. I had returned to study for the unique reason of taking the poison. Even if they saw it missing, who would link it to Uncle Nestor's heart attack death? 
It was impossible. What's the matter? I'm sick of it. Done. Come on, calm down. That old man drives me crazy lately. Ever since you returned to university and go along with this chess mania. He has directed his iron fist towards me and Matilda. What's the matter with Matilda? She gave me an ultimatum. Her or uncle. Choose her. It's easy to decide. It's what I will do. And what of the other? I pitied my brother. The poor fool would never look for the means to resolve his problem. I would do it. Run away with her. But how will we get by? You know how the old man is. Hard. And black boy. He would rip out my pants. Maybe things will solve themselves another way. Who knows? Bah! There is no way out. But I will speak with the old satire. Where is he now? In the library, but let him be. He just played his final chess match. He has sent the servants home, and the wolf wants to be alone in the den. Maybe you should just go calm down at a bar or any movie. see him some other time. After all. After all, you wouldn't do it, right? First, a slight pain, then a sharp ache, but never too alarmed. He would probably curse the cook for bad fish. He was probably reading the last records of the kings. And then, the book, like a great epilogue. It was called. If the poison was effective, everything would be ready. I would be the owner of millions. I would be free. I would be a killer. Good evening, sir! Good evening.
you are the eldest of the nephews, correct? Yes, sir. Follow me, please. I am sorry to inform you, but your uncle has died. Murdered. Impossible! I am Inspector Viegas. I am in charge of this investigation. Please follow me. Claudio! No, oh, sir. Can I speak to him right now? Excuse me, sir. Uh, can I see my uncle's body? For the moment, no. I need to ask you some questions in the next room, please. As you wish. Please sit. So, you are the nephew Claudio, am I correct? Yes, sir. Good. So tell us exactly what you did tonight. The three of us had dinner together as always. Guillermo then retired to his room. My uncle and I were left chatting for a while. Then we played our usual chess match. I said goodbye to my uncle, and then I left. In the hall, I ran into Guillermo. He was on his way out. We exchanged a few words, and then I left. And now you return? Yes. And the help? My uncle wished to be left alone. He told him to leave after dinner. He sometimes had those obsessions. What you say agrees with what the butler said. He came home the early this evening. He went to the library, and the light was on. There, he found your uncle, dead. The chess match, unfinished. But you say, you played the game? I figured my brother told you. Yes, sir. I have heard you keep records of your chess moves in your matches. To verify details, I must see this notebook, Mr. Alvarez. Records? Yes, man. I wish to see them. As you may understand, I must verify everything that is done by you and said, if you play like always. Is that... Of course we play like always. <laughs> they had. They had. They had fun with Gil. So... Come on. You were the last one to see him alive and dead. Mr. Alvarez did not write anything in this notebook this time. Enough! If you know, why ask? I killed him. I killed him. I hated him with all my heart. I killed him. I killed him. Hmm. Damn. That was sooner than I expected. But since you loosened your tongue so quickly, where is the revolver? Come on, don't play stupid. The revolver, or have you forgotten you killed him with one shot? Shot right between the eyes. What an 